Went over to my father and went, Dad, I've decided what I want to do. Drive me to the coast. I'm going to be a pro surfer. You know, Hawaii always was that ultimate proving ground. It was a melting pot from the best surfers in the world coming together to prove themselves. He hated me because that's what we were destined to do. There was a bunch of these so-called pro surfing contests with small amounts of money and we started chasing around because what else were we going to do? Why it was a two-fold mission. It was one, I wanted to rip it, and two, I wanted to get famous. You had this irrational group of kids and they came over here from Australia and they came over here from South Africa. It was obvious very early in the game that these new guys were coming along and they could surf better than anyone else in the world. We just wanted to be the best. We wanted to be the most radical. We wanted to do the new maneuvers. They were the next guys that were going to move the sport to the next level. We were prepared to die here and be surf if that's what it took. The whole little group of Aussies came over here and it was like just tear apart anything, catch anything. <laughs> just whatever it's moving, just rip it to shreds, you know? This new group came along and said, we want to make surfing into a sport. And everyone turned around and just went, they want to do what? Well, they'd write articles about how we're here, you know, we're the kings of the sport. This brash attitude of screw the establishment, we're going to go for it, whatever it takes to get what we want. It rubbed people the wrong way in Hawaii, without a doubt. This whole thing of trying to break in and establish a sport, it took a very, very strong attitude. I did not see pro surfing coming until I stood on the beach with Rabbit Bartholomew. It was our chance to change the perception of what the world thought surfing was. They did it for nothing, you know, they did it just for the, the love of surfing. They were rerouting the railroad of uh, surfing history. It's timeless stuff, you know, it's stuff that will probably never be repeated. They were the pioneers that laid the foundation for everything we were dreaming about. It was those guys who made pro surfing happen. That everyone in surfing should recognize that, I think. I said, mate. I'm going to be a pro surfer. I'm taking this dream and I'm going for it.